You're watching KDCG, uniquely Acadiana, a Delta Media station. Right here, right now, it's LA South. I'm Pamela Kay, and today we're talking about things that have to do with Howard Stern and Paul McCartney and Oprah, and it has nothing to do with a turban or a magic carpet, but it does have to do with meditation, and you'll find out more up next. All right, Dave, we picked out this really peaceful setting for you for transcendental meditation. We've got the waterfall in the background, ducks quacking, and cypress trees. How do you like it? I think it's a wonderful place to meditate, but it, you don't have to have a quiet place. You could meditate on the airplane where I was all day yesterday or in a grocery store because it's not dependent upon getting away from your, you know, your busy life to go within. It's dependent on something that attracts the mind to go within. Because the mind wants to go within. I mean, if we're talking and your favorite song comes along here walking down the, the sidewalk, you're not going to pay attention to me, even though I may be the most interesting thing here you know, happening. He Probably not, but you know, <laughs> the music might be more interesting to you than I am. So your mind goes like that. The mind wants to go and wants to wander towards something more charming, more interesting. And that's what we do. We provide it with something, a sound known as a mantra, which is most charming, most attractive to the mind. And so the mind goes within effortlessly without trying to block everything out. It just goes there because it's natural and effortless to transcend. Well, it, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't seem that easy. When I, uh -huh. I think about meditation or you hear people say the word meditation, it kind of conjures up this image of someone sitting cross-legged, holding out their their arms, going, um, in, yeah. a, in this quiet place. And right. to think about going in a store, I mean, the Twinkies are calling me. I can't, <laughs> I, I, mean, I can't imagine thinking about something else, especially in, in some of the, the big box stores where people are pushing and shoving and, right. you know, even holiday times. How, how do you get to that place? Well, it's just like I said, you don't have to get away to get to go within. You have the ability to be within and to go to that place. Everybody knows, everybody talks about, you know, there's a source of energy and intelligence and, and happiness and stillness and peace that's inside. The question is, how do we get there, of course? How do we get there? Well, we don't get there by fighting our way in. We get there by being attracted to that. The mind wants to go there. It goes there without any effort or trying or, or, or blocking out of anything else because it's the most charming place for the mind to go. And there's two things. There's the right sound or mantra and there's the use of it, it's, which is effortless. And that's where I come in as a teacher. It's effortless use of the sound that's important. Okay, now on that note with yes. sound, I know you're a big Zydeco musician fan. Is, <laughs> is that the sound you were referring to? Uh, it's not sound like, <laughs> like continuous music. It is a sound called a mantra. It's traditional, thousands of years old. They, they pick these mantras which are appropriate for the person, and that sound works to attract the mind to finer oncoming impulses or experiences of that sound. So the mind just goes ding, 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 goes within to experience finer levels of experience of the sound. Recently, the Veterans Administration, the VA, has been spending a lot of money treating PTS, which is the new word for PTSD, uh, for veterans coming back from uh, Afghanistan and Iraq and so on. But the VA just uh, uh, granted the, uh, the, a scientific study to see whether TM could treat PTSD and for two and a half million dollars. This is a following on another study in Minneapolis comparing TM and mindfulness as ways to treat PTS, PTSD. Because we've got a lot of anecdotal research and uh, uh, people, t testimonials about people talking about how TM helped them with this problem. You know, they came back from Iraq or whatever. They had tremendous PTS pro issues, and uh, a lot of that went away. Almost all of it went away 
when they started TM. And we've got research on diabetes, heart disease, 200 cardiac patients. Uh, uh, the death rate went down by 50% over eight years that were meditating, you know, compared to a control group or a group that was have, had health education as a comparison. So we've got all kinds of, we've got over 600 research studies on TM in many, many different areas. Well, besides the, the studies and the research studies that are out there that show that it works, you've got a lot of celebrity endorsers that aren't getting paid to endorse TM. Yeah, well, the thing is, we probably don't have enough time for me to mention all of them, but we were just talking some few names. You know, Paul McCartney, of course, went to India and studied with Maharishi, and Ringo did a benefit where they played in New York City a few years ago for us. That was just absolutely killer show that I was there for. Uh, you know, Russell, I mean, just to go to opposite extremes, we've got Russell Brand, we've got Cindy, Cindy Crowley, who was the moderator for the second presidential debate. She's the CNN uh, 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 political correspondent. Howard Stern. And, and Howard Stern's been meditating for 38 years, you know. He's, he's, he sends us people all the time. He talks about TM on his show, you know, and it, it really has great effects for him. Dr. Oz has everybody on his staff meditating. He's measuring the results for all of them. Uh, Oprah, of course, you know, had three or four shows, full hour-long sessions on TM and the, and the school and the university we have at Fairfield, Iowa last spring. Uh, you know, I, I could just go on and on. There's just tons of celebrities. One of the commonalities I've noticed with some of the people you've just mentioned is they're all extremely successful. They're mm -hmm. all very self-confident. What is it about TM that really kind of um, helps people to, to find that success? Well, this, you don't find success on the outside. You don't find success based on the, the struggle and the, the difficulties and the fighting and so on. It's just like the whole artist thing, like David Lynch, you know, the filmmaker. He was saying, it, you know, it's not a matter of, 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 of beating your head against the wall to be successful. The success comes from within. It comes from the integration of what's inside, which is infinite. You have to do the, you know, the due diligence. You have to be in the right place. You have to, you know, stop for red lights and so on. You know, I mean, it's not all stop just stop for red lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we live in the real world. Okay. It's not just about transcendental meditation. It's about following the rules of the road. Right. It's about action. TM is part of the picture. The other part is activity. So we meditate as a preparation for activity. And besides <laughs> success, there are health benefits as yeah. well. And yeah. all of these things kind of coupled together make you have a more fulfilled life. And, and for, for the, those that are watching, all of this sounds like a really fabulous infomercial for <laughs> life. I want that. Yeah. I want that. Um, how do you go about getting it? In some, in some ways, it may sound complicated to some people that are listening. And yeah. it, it's What's pretty easy process? to do. What it, is... It's a four-day process. The first thing you do is give me a call or go to tm.org. If you want to go to tm.org slash Gulf South, that's okay. If you go to tm.org, you'll only get in touch with me. So, you know, it's important to know that you're being taught in the way that's been structured by Maharishi. Not that he created this knowledge, but he structured the, the procedure for teaching which we teach exactly the same way anywhere in the world. And we have, not only do we teach, but we have lots of follow-up and lots of advanced uh, lectures available, information, uh, videos of Maharishi to guide you along the way. And we start off with four months of that following your instruction. Every two weeks, we try to get together with you and check your meditation. I had a guy call me and say, I want to get checked. I've been meditating for 30 years. I've never been checked. You know, so I check him and I, his meditation and made sure it was effortless and everything was going. And then I said, hey man, what do you do? You know, he says, oh, I'm a musician and I didn't think much about it. So later on, I found out this guy was playing the Acura stage, the big, huge stage at Jazz Fest. And he's been a, an icon in New Orleans music scene for 30 years. You know, so there's all these people that are doing TM, you know, that are in the background, but they're doing it on their own and there's part of their life and it works, you know, and we have checking available to monitor your, your situation, what's going on. 
I come to Lafayette every month and I give an intro, it's free. So you can come find out about it. If it's something you wanna do, cool. You know, we're ready to go. Then we have a four day process to learn TM. First day is personal instruction. The second day and the third and fourth day are follow up meetings with all the people that start with that per with whoever you are. So we have more knowledge and more experience. More knowledge, the second day, two more times you meditate. By the way, you meditate for 20 minutes twice a day in a chair with your eyes closed, sitting comfortably. In a chair can be, as we discussed, in the grocery store even, in, in an airplane, uh, anywhere where it's comfortable, where you can sit comfortably. And it's not a prayer time or something to do with religion. Oh no, it's not a religion uh, by any means. We have uh, 100 Buddhist monks in Thailand started TM. We have people in Mongolia. We have lots of people. We have TM centers in Japan, of course in India. 100,000 school children in South America started last year. They're, they're begging for 400 schools to start all the kids in TM in South America this year. And they're, they're begging for uh, TM teachers that speak Portuguese because a lot of them are in Brazil and Spanish. So, you know, the U.S. is doing okay, but I mean, we need to catch up with the rest of the world in terms of teaching TM. So it's not to do with your religion and your religion You'll be better at whatever it is that you want to be in your religion if you're more in touch with yourself, you know, inside. That's what makes you successful in terms of spirituality. Not believing, but being that way. I am Toon, Regional Director of Kitchen and Sushi Operation for Tsunami, and I am LA South. Justin Bieber has not been a good parent to his capuchin monkey in Germany. They confiscated his monkey, put it in a sanctuary for now, and he's got four weeks to provide the perfect documentation showing that he's got the right vaccinations and that the monkey is disease free. And if he doesn't, they're going to permanently place it in a sanctuary. So he really hasn't checked out the law as far as taking that monkey to another country. So. Shame on you. You have not been a very good parent, Justin Bieber. We're going to find out more with Celebrity Gossip up next with Cody and TJ with Mix 107. Hey, it's TJ. And Cody. With your Mix 107 on entertainment news and celebrity gossip on a Friday weekend and before your birthday. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm thinking about giving you some hot chocolate, some Hershey's candy, but about some Butterfingers for your actual present. Don't do that. Why? Cheapskate. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> I try to stay cheap. I try to stay cheap. But anyway, let's stick on some news, why don't we? Uh, the Voice, American Idol, on at the exact same time. Different days. But if you were to watch, I know you're really not big with, you know, Idol or The Voice. Yeah. If you were to watch one, which one would you watch? Uh, the Voice. Why? It's fresher, it's newer, it's brighter, shinier, I guess. And it doesn't have Nicki Minaj on it, which is always... That's always a plus. Yeah. Well, you know, I was watching American Idol this past Wednesday, and Nicki Minaj, she's an okay fit on the show, but whenever Apollo and Simon Cowell decide to step down from judges on the show, I think it just lost its actual, like, the ground level of it. And I think it, it I don't know. I wish, I wish that Idol can do something else that can basically relieve them from the voice, because I think they are both great shows. I think right now The Voice has them beat. Oh yeah, I think so too, but with American Idol, it's all about the money, the network wants the money, and American Idol, everybody, even if you don't watch it, you know the brand, you know the yeah. name, and they're going to make it for a long time, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, I'm TJ. And Cody. We'll be back with you on a Monday. Have a great weekend. You're watching Mix 107.1's Entertainment News and Celebrity Gossip. I'm with Chelsea Vidrine. She is Teen Miss Catfish Festival Queen 10. And I had to look at my paper because that is such a long and fabulous title. What does the 10 represent, Chelsea? Well, our pageant for the Washington Catfish Festival has been here for 10 years. Even though we're going on our 14th annual actual festival, the pageant has only been going on for 10 years. Well, you're just a beautiful young woman. I know Washington has been proud to have you serve and represent them so well. What advice do you have for the ladies that are coming in trying to kind of grab your title? 
I just want to prepare them that it's a very busy and exciting year and you get to travel to all kind of great places over the state of Louisiana, meet great people and eat amazing food. Like catfish. Like catfish. Now, I've heard a story that she won a catfish eating contest. Did that have anything to do with winning the pageant? <laughs> I think it brought me a little bit of good luck, but I don't think it's what made me win the catfish title. It was just coincidental. Maybe it was the tartar sauce. Did you have the tartar <laughs> sauce with the catfish? I had ketchup all over my face by the time <laughs> I finished eating. Well, she's beautiful with or without the ketchup. Now, I want to know what else is going on. We've got the Washington Catfish Festival. There's a ton of music, a ton of food. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, ma'am. Our catfish festival begins on April 18th, which is the Thursday. and. It ends Sunday, April 21st, and during that time, we have a lot going on. On Thursday is our family night, and it's free admission. And then Saturday, we have our parade at 10 a.m. And we have great entertainers all weekend, like Travis Mott and Crossfire and Gino Della Falls, who are going to be ready to have a good time and play. Oh, my goodness. And you are going to have a good time if you come and hear those bands. You get to look at beautiful young ladies. You can enter catfish eating contest. Now, there's a parade, too, I hear? Yes, ma'am. It's Saturday morning at 10 a.m., and it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you bring your kids out to catch some beads and candy. And so you don't have to wait for Mardi Gras next year. You can enjoy that right now at the Washington Catfish Festival. Now, there's also antiques because Washington, we're, Washington is just known for their antiques besides the catfish and beautiful queens. But what else is going on? It looks like there's some other booths and things. Oh, yes. We have arts and crafts and face painting. And Saturday, we're actually going to have the Queen's Catfish Eating Contest. And the Cachata dancers are going to come to perform. And then Sunday, we have our annual catfish cook-off for everybody to enjoy and compete. What more could you ask for? Everything's right there. It's in Washington, Louisiana. Give them the website. You can check us out at www.townofwashingtonla.org for more information about this wonderful festival. Thank you, Chelsea Vitry. Thank you. Congratulations to Donna Wills. She won the Kenny Chesney concert ticket giveaway. And you can be a winner too with LA South TV and KDCG. You know the number, it is 64636. And here are the code words. You've got WOW for World of Wheel tickets. You've got Carrie for Carrie Underwood tickets. And you've got Cowboy for Angola Rodeo tickets. So the number, 64636, and you can be entered to win for all of those tickets. Go to Facebook, LA South TV, like us for more information for those contests and more. And we will see you next time here on What? LA South. See you next time. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzz, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving.